Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. We're still hanging out with Jordan Peele of Key and Peele. Hey. hey. How's it going? So let's talk about being biracial. Both you and Key are biracial. And the New Yorker called your biracialism a golden ticket to themes rarely explored on television. What do you make of that comment? You know, that, I mean, that's a very interesting way to put it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I... Do you see it as a golden ticket? Golden ticket? No, you know, it was so difficult to f figure out and sort out how to even make our voice uh, something that uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very complicated, race is a very complicated mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we start to uh, try to simplify it, you know, we immediately get into trouble. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think we, we don't use the fact that we're, we're mixed or we're biracial mm -hmm. uh, in our comedy as, as much as we, you know, we explore certain things that only we can explore. Mm -hmm. So whatever that means, mm -hmm. uh, if that means that we're talking about code switching, uh, then, then, it, then it can be that. If that means that we're, we're doing something that is uh, inf influenced by one of our, our heroes mm -hmm. here, here or there, then it means that. But you know, I think that you know, s since uh, Barack Obama was elected, uh, multiculturalism, a bi it being biracial, all of a sudden had people had questions about the, the, the mixed experience. And, pe and people were curious about it in a way. So it, in some ways, I think that Barack Obama helped us get the, this sh show uh, at, at all. Well, is it true yeah. that you thought at first that African-American people would not enjoy watching the show? Why is that? And how did you feel once they did embrace it? Yeah, no, I, I, I think we... I, I didn't really concern myself too much with what the the demographic mm -hmm. that would watch uh, our show. It, it, eyeballs are eyeballs. Eyeballs mm -hmm. are eyeballs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, uh, the the one demographic we were uh, catering directly towards was was young people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you find in in this country, you know, young people have a real different relationship to race than you know. I'm 35, and even I do. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, I think our show. How would you describe the difference? Well, they're less. Uh, uh, they seem less concerned mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. race. It's not that it doesn't exist, and you know, racism, of course, uh, you know, as we see, you know, in, in the news every day, it's it's alive and it's uh, you know, it's still creating so many problems in this country. Sure. Um, I think we're on the way to be being able to dealing with uh, some of these things. One, because we do have we have cameras everywhere now, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so you, you know, <clears throat> seeing things happen mm -hmm. is so as we know, you know, from the, yeah. the Ray Rice situation too. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, race aside on that. Yeah. Keep your hands to yourself right. in an elevator. <laughs> <That's> right. <Yeah. laughs> we learn these kind of lessons. There's there, there's eyes out there, and uh, seeing things is so much more. Uh, uh, it, Powerful than mm -hmm. hearing about them, mm -hmm. um, but you know, kids, the, the kids today, they don't have, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just that simple. They don't have the history mm -hmm. of racial conflict in the same way. Uh, what type of kid were you? Were you the class clown? Were you the introvert who had a wry sense of humor <laughs> that people had to like dig deep it. to get? You yeah. got it on the second mm -hmm. one. That, that was me. You mm -hmm. know, uh, I, Keegan is the you know he's he's the a little bit he's the louder one. He's the one who was probably acting a fool in class. <laughs> so um, how do you guys come up with these kids then? Does he do some parts? You do the other parts? What is your process like? Our process, you know, I tend to be a little bit more of the writer. Mm -hmm. He is. Is, you know, he's the guy who can take any, he can take a bad script and make it funny with his performance. A lot of these ideas we'll come up with together, and the very best material that we do, it's good because you can see we're, we're making each other laugh. Mm -hmm. So the show really is the story of what is the sense of humor that these two friends, you know, what, what gets us, and we're our whole. Every day we get to make each other laugh just 100 times a day. It's the best. 
Now, is there a Judd Apatow film in the works? Is that what we're there hearing? Is. Really? There is. What can you tell us about yes. the project? I can, you know, unfortunately, I can tell you very little. Oh, not because of on. not because of security, but we we just we really just started. We've just mm -hmm. kind of cracked the the surface. We have there are several movie projects that we are in development on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got the Police Academy reboot. You're yes. kidding. Yes. That is awesome. Uh, I to, can't wait for that. Long. You can stop do. there. You have yeah, to. Yeah, okay. so we had <laughs> you on that one. Right. But um, what else, though? <laughs> and then, you know, there's an, uh, another thing we're working out, uh, working out with New Line right now that is, uh, yeah, if, if everything goes how I think it's going to go, I, it, it's, that's really the... The movie version of Key and Peele. Right. It's 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 you take our dynamic, our over our over the top but still grounded sense mm -hmm. of humor, and you, we're just going to do the movie the movie version. So, oh. well, we budget. like it. I can't wait. Key got, and Peele coming yes. to the big screen. That's right. I love it. Until right. then, we can catch you every Wednesday night at 10:30 p.m. on Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. 21 episodes. All right. All right. Can't wait. Thank you so much for Thank joining you us. Thank you. All right. And you don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Arise Entertainment 360.